Okay, time for the install, all right? So as I said in the unboxing, uh, you do it through the app, all right? So the first thing you do is you go into this app, hopefully you can see it, you add your product, all right? It's got a QR code, there's a QR code right on the back of your thermostat. All right, it's got it. You scan the code and it's going to walk you through this install, okay? Uh, start installation. So you're gonna remove the old thermostat. All right, that's the first thing, uh, always. All right, so we're gonna turn on Bluetooth. Silly me. We're gonna start our installation. We have a third generation. So I switched off the power already here. I'm gonna remove this cover now. That's what this says, all right? So we're gonna do that next. <clears throat> So we got that off and what you want to do now is once you remove the cover, let's take a photo of this wiring. And I had said that in the unboxing, uh, you really want to see what colors are going where. Okay. We're going to use this photo. Allow access. Uh, make sure you don't have a high voltage system. We definitely don't. We don't see any wire caps. All right, loose. We're going to loosen all these jump screws to remove the wires. All right, so we're going to do that now. Okay, so now we have all these here. We're going to take this off. We're going to use our fancy little tool that came here. And I'm kind of bummed. I might have to use the mounting plate. Which isn't as cool looking. Sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. Let's look. Let's look. I mean, I could wire this just like this and then patch these. But let me ask my wife. Okay, so it's been a few days. I got caught up doing other stuff. We are now moved into the house. And the moment you've all been waiting for, does my wife want the wall plate or not? Well, stand by because I have other news to tell you. In my hurrying to install this thermostat, I didn't do enough research and read about the common wire, all right? The blue 24 volt common wire. And if you go back a moment in this video, you'll notice that I did not mark that wire because it was not present, or at least I didn't think it was. So what you need to do, um, if, you know, if you want to power your Nest thermostat just with a constant source of power so it doesn't die instead of the alternate method, which is it charges itself a little bit every time the heat or the cool goes, cooling goes on, is you're going to need this blue common wire. And where I found it was wrapped around back here. And the reason the electrician or the, the contractor did that is because the thermostat they installed, one, wasn't for a heat pump, so I didn't need, it was incorrect. But two, it was battery powered, all right? And if you have a battery powered thermostat, you don't need to be running constant power to it. That isn't suggested. So it's understandable why they did what they did. So what you need to do is go back here and check if that blue wire is wrapped around here. And if it's not, you need to go on YouTube or call an electrician or someone and figure out how to get a common wire to your Nest thermostat. Um, so all hope is not lost. I think there's also adapters you can buy, but that's not what this video is about. Did my wife want the wall plate or not? Yes, she did. So what I did was I popped a couple wall anchors in here where the wall plate's going to go. And we're just going to feed our wires through this nifty little hole they give us, right? All right, you feed them through so you have enough to work with. All right, and next, what you do is, you know, you're gonna line this up after you put this through. You're gonna put your, uh, you put this plate on there. And this is so easy to wire up. Uh, your app will tell you, I can't use the app right now because I'm not a big enough YouTuber to have a special camera just for my videos. I use my phone. So keep watching guys. If we ever, if this channel ever makes any money, I will buy a dedicated camera uh, so that I can walk you through the steps. But the, the app's gonna walk you through the steps of how to wire this up. And I showed you guys that prior, right? When I identified all these. So 
I took notes and I just have a little note card here of how we're gonna wire this up. But first, when you install the faceplate, the base plate, there's a level right here, all right? So gone are the days of having to line this thing up and hope it's straight. And then you come back and you're like, oh man, it's not straight. Uh, second thing I'm going to do is try to center it on this, on the, um, the light switches below. All right, just a nice little touch. You don't want it off center. I think that would look tacky. All right, so then you're just gonna take it and screw it into place, all right? Do I really need an impact driver? Probably not, probably not recommended. So just go slow, but I need to get this done. And we're gonna use it. All right. And just tighten my hand. All right, we're still level, beautiful. Okay. All right, now comes the wiring part. Remember I had said prior, turn off the power to this so that you don't mess anything up or yourself. I don't know, I don't know what it would do if you left it on, but I'm not taking that to chance. So we've got our yellow, that's gonna go to Y1 according to the app when I put all these in. I'm just gonna get the rest of these out of the way. And this system is really cool, I like it. I mean, I, I don't know if other thermostats are like this, but these push downs, once you get your wire in the right place, Make it pretty simple to do this install. You just push the tab down and you slide it in. All right, the next one here is going to be our G, which is for our fan. Oh, and the Y, the yellow is for heating and cooling. All right, G is the fan for your system. Like if you just want to run a fan to get air moving through the house, that's what this will be. All right, next we have our orange, the OB. Um, I have an orange wire. Apparently there's a blue one out there too, but that's not this system. So we're going to take that, we're going to slide that in there, lock it into place. All right, next, we move to the other side. Let's get this out of the way. Through here. All right, so we have W1, which is going to be the aux heat. You need it, but let's hope you never have to run it a lot in the winter, because something tell, they tell me that costs a lot of money. All right, get that seated in there, that's in there. All right, next we see C, all right? It's not for a C colored wire. I don't know what that would even be. Copper, I don't know. It's for your common wire, all right? So insert your common wire there. That's a 24 volt common. And then red, all right. So we'll get that slid in there as well. Make sure everything's seated securely, okay? Then, you do your best to stick the wires, to stick the cable back in that hole neatly. And once you get that tucked back in, you can put the Nest thermostat on and we'll start to go through the steps to get it installed. Now, again, I only have one phone, so I can't show you the steps to get it installed for your location and all of that. Uh, I will do another video of that down the road when I have another camera, I can use my wife's phone, she's at work right now. Um, so what we're gonna do now is I'll get these put away neatly, we'll put the Nest thermostat on and I'll show you what it looks like once it's up and running, okay? Stick around. All right, so I put the Nest thermostat on here and I reset it so that we can walk through these steps together. Uh, sorry, the lighting changed a little bit. I had to close the blind, the curtains, because the light was shining in here and kind of making it harder to see the screen. So right now it's doing its reset process and we will get started in a moment, I hope. All right, there we go. All right, choose your language, confirm. Let's go through our equipment. I'm the homeowner. 
a single fuel system. All right, so this shows you if you hooked everything up right. So we've got our heating and cooling, we've got our green fan, we have our orange heat pump, white aux heat, 24 volt common, we have power. So let's continue. Uh, my system, heat pump heating, yes. Auxiliary heating, yes. Heat pump cooling and a fan, awesome. We have forced air. We have the O-wire. Let's go through the app. All right, we can control it remotely. Uh, all right, Y-V-V-W-L-A. So you need the app for this part, all right, to register this, but we'll just cancel that. I'll get that set up on my phone right now, and then we'll go through the rest of the setup, all right? So sorry about that, guys. We'll be right back. Okay, so I walked through it on the app real quick. All right, if it's already installed like this, it just took a few steps, added it to my network, added it to the app. We hit continue. All right, so it's now ready to test. Let's test it now and see if it works. This is really important. We're going to do heat pump heating first. The heat should be on. Check the vents. All right, I don't know if you can hear that on the camera, but we've got heat coming out, all right? It's warm air, so we did that right. The heat has been turned off, okay. We're gonna check auxiliary heating because we wanna make sure this works. Okay, that kicked up a little higher. It's definitely auxiliary heating. A little hotter too, yeah, okay. That's been turned off. Let's check the heat pump cooling. All right, so it's below, it's 58 degrees outside. So when it's below 60, it doesn't test your cooling for a heat pump. That's fine. Let's check our fan. Yep, took a second to kick on. I hear it, you got it. All right, we're done. So now, You've got all your settings here, okay? For the newer person, uh, go into your settings icon right here and you can set your home away assist, which is automatically use eco temperatures when no one's home, which I use, it's great. Uh, eco temperatures, you can set them right here. Uh, I, I put 63 degrees, that's what I choose. Uh, safety temp, this is the lowest it will go in your house. You can set that, all right? Uh, you can do a fan schedule if you want. Nest Sense, here's what some cool stuff. You've got auto schedule. Um, auto schedule will kind of learn your schedule as you go through it. Time to temp. Uh, estimates how long it will take your thermostat to reach your target temperature early on. Uh, I leave it on schedule. I don't, I don't need to preheat the house. We don't shoot the temperature up too, too high in here. So I leave it on schedule, but you can also start early and set the time on that. Heat pump balance. All right, this is a good one. Max savings will keep it pretty cool in your house. If you set it to this and you just adjust your thermostat as you go through your day or your life, over the 30 days or so of this thermostat learning your habits, it will adjust for this. Um, because my wife likes it really warm in the house and my kids are indifferent, but I like to keep them warm, I put it on balance. You can do max comfort, but that's also going to cost a little more, okay? So I select balance. I will adjust temperatures for that. Cool to dry is if it uses additional cooling to reduce indoor humidity. I don't need that. Sunblock is a great setting. Uh, when the sun is shining on the thermostat, it won't register that the heat from the sun. All right, leaf. This appears when you have adjusted your thermostat to energy saving temperature to an eco temp. An right, air wave, um, should it use air wave to save energy while running in air conditioning? Yes, we always wanna save energy, at least I do. So that's nest sense. No reminders, I mean, you can set reminders for your display. You go in here, um, Farsight is when you approach the thermostat, what will it do? Target temp, current temp, analog clock, digital clock, weather. Don't use Farsight, wake on approach, wake on press. So I like to do the digital clock. Um, you can just change that later. Hit done. Brightness, you can adjust that here. Click sound, you can turn on or off. Fahrenheit, Celsius, date and time, 
So the language is English. The Nest app is connected. We're on my network helping friendly Mango. Um, this will go through your equipment like you saw earlier. And you can test here. If you go into equipment, you can test your system if you have any questions. Nest Pro is for the pro installers. Software will check your internet for an update. Technical info is the technical info on all of this stuff. I don't need any of that right now. Legal info, reset, we've got our temp, all right? So what we'll now do is, I like it 68 up here in the house. It says it's 74, which is awesome because it's pretty warm outside for December. Uh, and that's really it. So, you know, we got it set and that's really all. If you have any questions about the install or any other questions about this, uh, I can help you out. I'm not an expert about all this stuff, but I've definitely had this in my house for a couple of weeks now. Uh, and yeah, so if you have any questions, hit me up. If this helps, hit that like button. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. There'll be more videos coming. Take it easy. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year.